It's weird, though. Isn't it weird in today's society how mad people get? I mean, they get mad about the crazy... They have the craziest sensitivities. I mean, even Disney makes people mad. You know, for me, it's not that big a leap because I, I write comedic songs frequently anyway. And sure enough, I was horrified. I mean, here's this girl having relations with this, I don't know, buffalo. <laughs> All right? I really enjoy that aspect of it. I love this tightrope of walking out there and trying to make people laugh. It's not an easy thing to do, and so this has been sort of a, a fantasy thing for me to do. And just because you put a jacket on it doesn't make it okay. It doesn't. I should have called it Beauty and the Bestiality. I mean, where I come from, that is, well, it's actually okay. Oh, I think a joke hitting is way more nerve-wracking than playing songs. I mean, songs have a buffer. They don't, they don't have to be laugh out loud or they don't have to, you know, there's, there's nuances to a song that really, it's sort of all or nothing with a joke. You either get laughs or you don't. I mean, there's a, there's a threshold you reach where you realize it worked. And then there's a threshold of sort of like polite chuckling where it, it just didn't work. And, and that's terrifying. Speaking of relationships that are frowned upon, I, I gotta admit, I'm not immune to that. I mean, my first relationship was not good. I really love the process of trying to come up with things. And, and the CMAs was preparation in every way for something like this. I, I, don't, I definitely wouldn't be doing it if I hadn't learned alongside Carrie every year doing that. First kiss, first taste, I'm loving you were my first cousin. <laughs>